Hey, if you're thinking about hiring a company or videographer to create videos for you, stop what you're doing right now and watch this video because I'm gonna tell you three top mistakes people make when hiring a video production company or videographer to create videos for them and ways to solve them. Now the first three mistakes is hiring the cheapest person and accepting the lowest bid. Look, I get it, we're all on a budget right now, but going on fire and hiring someone for $10 and expecting a broadcast commercial you'd see during the Super Bowl is naive. You get what you pay for, so hiring the lowest bidder may lead to the lowest quality, unless you look at their past work and talk to people who have worked with them before. Look at the video company and videographer's reel, but also look at their full video spots. A highlight video doesn't show how they can perform with a full complete video, and sometimes people just shoot sizzle reels without having completed a single project. So if you want an explainer video, ask for an explainer video example. If you want a wedding video, ask for a wedding video example. Although, don't necessarily think that you need a specific example for your specific video or can only depend on specialized video companies for a niche project. Talented and experienced companies and videographers can create videos for most industries, depending on their experience, team, and resources. So if you see a company or a videographer that hasn't created a fashion video before, but you love their corporate videos, give them a chance if they're asking for it. Skilled video creators and filmmakers can make videos for any subject matter, they just need a clear vision, script, and budget. Which brings us to the second mistake, being clear on your expectations. Now some people just ask a video production company or a videographer to just do their job and make them look good without any guidance. Now this will lead to a lot of assumptions and mistakes that may lead you to getting a product that you don't ultimately want. Be clear with your vision by sharing reference videos that you like and how you want your video to look like. Create a mood board with images to show them more visual references. Video companies and videographers are visual people, so the more visuals you give, the easier it is for them to understand what you're looking for. Also, be clear on the deliverables. How many videos do you want? How long are the videos? What's the resolution and frame rate? Which platforms are you uploading to? And you should also let them know about your goals because some companies and videographers won't ask you. Do you want people to buy your product or do you want to attract a new audience? Do you want to impress your family and friends? Or just have a video to remember a special event? Whatever it is, communicate that with the company and videographer so that they know what they need to do to get the job done. Now the third mistake is relying too much on a company and videographer's slick portfolio and impressive resume and not seeing if they will be someone you want to work with. Would you rather work with a talented team that gives you a daily headache and doesn't listen to anything that you say? or a decent videographer that's traditionally trained and is willing to take notes and direction, deliver what you want, be on time and listen to your needs. Working with an arrogant videographer that shows up late and doesn't deliver on time, or hiring a well-known production company that doesn't listen to your needs or input and treats you like a child can be a pain and waste of energy. You want to work with people that you like and are also skillful. Have a few calls with the company and videographer and see if you vibe and get along. Look at their portfolio to qualify and then set up a call to let them know what you want. If you feel like they are people that you like to work with, then you decide. Just make sure that you are clear with your deadlines, deliverables, and the overall look of the video. I hire a lot of creatives for my set, so I like working with people that I enjoy being around. And no matter how talented somebody is, if they're an asshole, there are plenty of other competent and friendlier people in the world to replace them. So those are the top three common mistakes to avoid when hiring a video production company and videographer. Now if you like this video, please like, comment, and share this with anyone you think would find this helpful. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button below to get notifications. Remember, I post every single week and I'm here to help you grow your brand with video content and learn more about video production, marketing, and content strategy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.